Have you ever been excited to create something amazing with Kivi, only to be stopped in your tracks by an error message? It can be incredibly frustrating, right? If you're facing the unable to find any valuable window provider error, you're in the right place. Today, we're going to tackle this issue together. I completely understand how annoying it is when you're ready to code and suddenly an error pops up, halting your progress. You're definitely not alone in this. Many developers encounter this issue and it can be a real roadblock. Let's dive into the specific situation at hand. One user recently reported this error message, unable to find any valuable window provider. They provided a detailed log, and it looks like they were trying to run a simple Kivi application. Sound familiar? If you're experiencing this, let's explore the reasons behind it. So what does this error mean? Essentially, Kivi is having trouble finding a suitable window provider to display your application. This can happen for a variety of reasons, including missing dependencies or incorrect configurations. Don't worry, we'll break it down step by step. And stay tuned. I have a crucial tip at the end that can help you avoid this issue in the future. You won't want to miss it. To resolve the error about the window provider, the user should first ensure that the necessary dependencies for Kivi are installed. This includes the SDL2 library which is crucial for window management. Next, the user should verify that the Kivi installation is complete and up to date. They can do this by running a simple command in the terminal to check the installed version. After confirming the installation, the user should check if the environment variables are set correctly. This is important for Kivi to locate the SDL2 libraries. Finally, if the issue persists, the user can try reinstalling Kivi and its dependencies. This can help resolve any conflicts or missing files. Fun fact, Kivi is named after the Kivi plant, which is known for its resilience and adaptability, just like your coding skills will be after overcoming this error. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. One user faced the same issue and found success by uninstalling and reinstalling Kivi. They suggest using pip to uninstall Kivi first, then installing a specific version. Now let's see a response from a different user. An alternative solution from another user suggests disabling both 3D and 2D video acceleration in the display settings of your virtual machine software, like VirtualBox or VMware. Here's that crucial tip I promised. Always keep your dependencies updated. Regular updates can prevent many issues, including this one. It's a simple habit that pays off. And there you have it. With these steps, you should be able to resolve the unable to find any valuable window provider error and get back to coding. If you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button for more troubleshooting tips. And remember, keep coding and stay curious.